Good morning, welcome to your 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. Taking a look at our current surface analysis today, we saw some showers earlier this morning, brought about three quarters of an inch of rain to the Wallops area with localized areas getting a little higher amounts. Uh, most of that activity is well off to the east now. We're gonna be seeing mostly cloudy to overcast conditions through most of the day today, a slight chance of a lingering or pop-up shower or thunderstorm later this morning and into the afternoon hours. Now looking at our upper level winds at 1,000 feet, we have winds coming out of the northeast at 11 knots, increasing up to maximum wind speed of 32 knots at 16,000 feet coming out of the southwest, and our freezing level today is 14,000 feet. Now looking at our visible satellite imagery today, you can see still seeing those cloudy conditions in our area with again the bulk of that storm activity well off to our east in the Atlantic. Uh, seeing clouds out there at about a thousand feet right now, broken to overcast conditions. And now looking at our reflectivity as we move throughout the day today, again, just some slight chances of some lingering or pop-up shower or thunderstorms over the remaining hours uh, into the early afternoon hours uh, to, of today. But as we move overnight tonight, expect it to stay mainly dry as we move into Saturday. Now picking up on our long-term forecast models starting on Saturday morning. Saturday looks to be predominantly dry for us. Uh, no real chances of precipitation during the day. As we move into Sunday, however, that's when we're gonna be seeing our next uh, strong possibility of shower and thunderstorm activity, particularly during the late morning and early afternoon, and especially during the evening and overnight into early Monday morning. Luckily, it looks like most of that activity will move out of the way and clear up for us during the actual day on Monday for Labor Day. And that's going to set a trend as we move into next week. We're going to be seeing high pressure return to our area and no real chances of precipitation for Tuesday through Thursday of next week. Now looking at our 24-hour weather risk chart today. And we saw some light showers uh, around 8 a.m. this morning, a lot heavier showers before that, uh, but we are seeing just mostly cloudy to overcast conditions currently, with uh, potentially some mist in some areas. Uh, but we are still going to be seeing a slight chance of a shower or thunderstorm through about uh, 4 to 5 p.m. this afternoon, and then clearing up as we move overnight tonight into Saturday morning. Temperatures today still about 73 degrees, looking at a high this afternoon around 79, a low tonight around 70. Our winds today are going to be pretty varied, uh, predominantly still seeing onshore flow, so between northeasterly and southeasterly winds. Uh, and then as we move into Saturday morning, seeing those winds drop below 5 knots. We're going to be seeing a pretty good chance of some low clouds as well persisting as we move into the overnight hours tonight and into Saturday morning. And our tides for today are normal. And now looking at the week ahead today, again, mostly cloudy to overcast, slight chance we could see an additional shower or thunderstorm in the area with a high of 79 degrees. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy, the high of 82. Could see those low clouds linger tomorrow, uh, but a chance that they could clear out earlier and seeing mostly partly cloudy conditions instead. And then moving into Sunday, Sunday, unfortunately looking like a uh, decently high likelihood of some showers and thunderstorms, about a 65% chance, high of 87 degrees. Once that cold front moves through uh, overnight Sunday into Monday morning, we'll see some clearing behind that. Monday will be becoming partly cloudy, some early chances of showers and thunderstorms. And then as we move into next week, we'll have a nice start to the month of September. We're going to be seeing partly cloudy conditions Tuesday through Thursday and highs in the upper 70s. That's going to conclude our 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. We will be back again on Tuesday of next week. I hope you guys enjoy the long weekend uh, and have fun out there.